At least this means I have an easy way to visit Grandma Dude for the holidays. Even if he used my credit card. Dude, she'll know what to do. She always does. What are you doing? You can't be here this late. Get out! No visitors this time of night. No, I have to. I have to see Grandma Dude. It's a matter of life and death. <laughs> Grandma, dude, I need your help. Ah, what seems to be the trouble, laddie boy? I... Help! It's man! He... He's dead! That's no good. What do I do? Now! What can I do? What should I do? No worries. It's an easy fix. Grandma knows the secrets of time travel. You... You do know! I knew it! And tell me, I have to save him! All you must do is look at this. Look away now. Pay close attention. You're going back in time. You're going to save your friend. This is all it takes to control time. This is all it takes. Grandma knows these things. Uh, I'm, I'm back. In the car. It's 11.51. That means... Oh no! I've only got nine minutes to save him! No, wait. Eight! Eight minutes until midnight. I should turn that off. Man! Man! Hey, dude. What's new? I'm just on my way home. For a snack. L let's not tonight. How about let's go to Grandma's instead? Grandma's house. Oh. But I really wanted a snack though. Grandma has snacks. Come on, hurry. Okay. Aw, oh, dude. I'm too hungry to keep going. I can't wait. I'm going to go get a snack. Oh no. Man is not there outside the car. No. Oh no. I'm too late. No, I'm not too late. I can change this. I have to. Sen 
send me back. Send me back in time. Please. My friend is dead and I have to save him. That's no good. No worries. It's an easy fix. Forget that. I've already done this before. Just send me back. Oh. Hey, dude. What's new? I'm just on my way home. For Man, get in the car. We're going to Grandma's house. No time to explain. Oh. But I really wanted- Grandma has snacks. Hurry up. Okay. This is going to be close. All we have to do is make it to Grandma's house before Man gets hungry. Wait, here's an idea. Wait, here's an idea. I just have to make it look like Grandma's house is worth waiting for. Hey, man. Don't worry about snacks. Really. Grandma's promised giant cakes. All kinds. At Grandma's house. Giant cakes? That's right. Aw, dude. The thought of cake makes me hungrier. I'm too hungry to keep going. I can't wait. I'm going to go get a snack. No, wait! Man! No. No, I ran him over? No. No. It's my fault. It's all my fault. I'm responsible for his death. 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 Pancake, man. Grandpa, help me. He dies every time. And not just on the porch. But I'll find a way. I'll save you yet, man. If only I just had... more time. You know, laddie boy, I can send you further back, too. What? Wait. Oh, good idea. I didn't think of that. You can do that? Oh yes, I can. Because Grandpa knows the secrets of time travel. Whatever, I know. So just do it. A half hour. Perfect. That should be enough time. I need a better plan this time. If man's still at home, it should be easy enough to reach him before... No... I should still have enough time, so... Oh no... No... It... It's already happened? No! No. He's dying earlier now. Has the world has the world outsmarted me? Outsmarted me? Have I gone too far? Gone too far? Too far? There, that has to be enough time. Now I just need to find... I could call him! Hey, man, where are you? Let's meet up. I'll take you to Grandma Dude's house. Cool? Ah, thanks, dude. I've always wanted to meet Grandma Dude. But I'm hungry instead. I need a snack. No. You must be going home! When I'm closer this time, I can get there first! This... is it. There's no way out. It's impossible. The world has... turned against me. Or at least... against man.
What's the problem, skinny sunny boy? Grandma, dude, I failed. I went back in time to save my friend more times than I can count. Like, four. It's hopeless, isn't it? He'll just keep dying, right? Tell me it isn't. Give me hope. If it's happened four times now, then it is hopeless. There is nothing you can do now, Sonny. What? No. It can't be. Can I come in? What? Man? I heard there was cake. What? But how? But you're dead. What about the, the mess on the porch? And... Uh, oh, I dropped my jelly box this morning. Oops, you know. I didn't feel like cleaning it up. I let it lie. Rest in peace, yummy jelly. It's okay, man. Uh, but wait. The radio said you were dead, too. How? Wait. This just in. We've already got our first death of the new year. Walking in at exactly midnight, we have a Carol Thatch found dead on the porch. <sighs> But why? Oh, it must have been that guy you stole your name from. I get it. Well, guess we're good now. Thanks for having us, Grandma. What about the cake? There wasn't cake. I lied. Huh? Wait, wait. I never told you there was going to be cake. Not in this timeline. How did... Mm, how did I know? I just did, dude. Cake calls me. But if, the, if there wasn't cake, then... Ah, forget it. Oops, our bad, folks. It's just been confirmed that Harold Fats was not, in fact, dead. In actuality, during interrogation, Brilliant police investigators uncovered that it was all a mistake as he had barely lost consciousness upon the tripping over of a jelly jar he received for the holidays. Isn't that funny? Though the investigation is still ongoing, we can now report the actual initial death of the new year. Coming in at 12.05, a man named George Banyan found on a street corner. Some think it an assassination for complex political reasons. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe, laddie boy.